John Gonzalez wrote Caesar and Joshua Sawyer asked for Caesar to present his rationale in the framework of his interpretation of Hegelian dialectics. Caesar possesses a number of parallels to his historical counterpart. For example, the historical Caesar actually suffered from a condition similar to the one depicted in-game. He had headaches, blackouts, and sometimes even seizures. In terms of appearance, Caesar is balding and has an aquiline nose, a sign of nobility in ancient Rome. One thing of note is that Caesar is 55 years old in 2281, and the historical Julius Caesar was assassinated at the age of 56 on March 15, 44 BC Metzger, the leader of the Slavers Guild from the Den in Fallout 2, was initially named Caesar. Caesar claims to be the son of Mars and his claimed ancestor, Romulus. See Julius Caesar claimed to be a descendant of the god Mars as well. In a quote, Caesar refers to the Rubicon River, which the real Julius Caesar actually crossed in 49 BC, triggering the Roman civil wars. Roman armies were forbidden from crossing it, and, as such, entering Rome itself, except for few exceptions. Therefore, having his armies cross the river was the same as a declaration of war and as such an irreversible decision, a point of no return. This reference, in combination with Caesar's plan of making Vegas the true capital of his empire, parallels the historical Caesar. Though Caesar claims he is following the example of the Roman Empire in creating a homogeneous culture through conquest, this demonstrates he is not quite as educated on the empire as he believes. The real empire achieved control over many areas by requiring the populace to submit to Roman rule but honoring local customs and allowing local leaders to continue their rule as long as they took orders. Caesar's legion is considerably more controlling than the actual empire was, requiring much more brutal force than Rome usually exerted over its territories. This is especially true seeing as historians considered this period to be that of the Roman Republic and not yet the Roman Empire, while Romans at the time always called it a republic, and despite Julius Caesar's often imperialistic and dictatorial actions that are seen as the catalyst for the creation of the empire, there is still doubt over his true intentions for Roman society. The previous Roman tyrant before him was Sulla, who also similarly caused a civil war by marching on Rome. Sulla instituted many reforms, then resigned after about a year and retired, disbanding his legions and establishing government once again. Julius Caesar was very popular with the lower and middle classes of society and enacted many populist reforms, including extending citizenship rights and abolishing the tax system that relied on Roman intermediaries, all the way up to his assassination by elite members of the Senate. 